Have you wondered what RV camping life is like in the Little Guy Max? I share my number one challenge of being a weekend warrior and the thing I would change on the Little Guy Max trailer if I could. Welcome back to Randy's Adventures. My name is Randy and I show weekend warriors how to make every moment count. Together, let's build a community where we can inspire thrive, and learn from each other. To belong, simply hit the subscribe button below. A new video will be published every Thursday and you don't want to miss out. My friends, Patty and Patrick from Travels with Delaney and Johnny from Johnny's Adventure recently challenged me to the 10 RV challenge questions. Most of you know I own a Little Guy Max and I've been a weekend warrior for the past one and a half years. So my answers will be based on these experiences. Be sure to stay to the end where I share my number one Little Guy Max RV accessory. But it's really starting to snow outside, so let's go inside. Okay, let's get these 10 questions started. Question number one is, if you could change anything about your RV, what would it be? Well, I really love the Little Guy Max and it's been ideal for weekend camping like we do. And I have made a few minor changes because there have been a few things that I've wanted to change. But what I would change has to do with our dinette table. There is just not a lot of room to get into this side of the dinette table. As you can see, when I try to enter the table here is just a really tight fit. I can slide the table this way, but if somebody's sitting over there, that makes it difficult. But once you are back here, there is enough room. It's just the initial getting in and out right here that is a little tight. Question number two. What is one thing that you did not expect when you bought your first RV? And my answer to this is going to surprise some people because I don't think I've shared this before. But the Little Guy Max is not our first RV that we purchased. If you look back at my channel and you look at my first few videos, we are actually RV camping in a Tab 320. And it was only about a month and a half that we did bring it back to the dealership and traded it in for the Little Guy Max trailer. The Tab 320 was a good camper, but it was just too small for us. Question number three is, what was your deciding factor when you bought your RV? Although our RV was going to be used for weekend getaways, I still wanted to have all of the comforts of home. So the criteria for me when buying my first RV was it had to have a bed, it had to have a kitchen, and it had to be, have a bathroom. I just knew that if our RV didn't have these things, that it probably just wouldn't get used as often. The TAP 320 did have all of these features, and the Little Guy Max has all of these features as well. On top of it, the Little Guy Max does have a dedicated bed area and is just a little more roomy, as I previously mentioned. On to question number four. And that question is, what is your favorite meal to cook? And this was a tough one for me because I'm not a good cook at all. In the past, I primarily cooked using a campfire, but more recently I did purchase a Blackstone grill and that's made camping life easier for me now that I've got that as a tool for cooking. Um, I'm going to say that my favorite meal to make is going to be a Frisco melt. The thing I like about making Frisco melts is they're really easy to make and they are really good. I need your help. Please share with me your easy favorite camping recipes in the comments section below. I'd love to gather a few great recipes that I can have as my go-to meals so I don't even have to think about meal planning anymore. That would make RV camping life much easier for me. 
Question number five is, what is your must-see destination? And for me, this is pretty easy. I do have a lot of places that I would like to see, but the first place I would go to if I had the opportunity would be to start in Miami and drive down Highway 1 all of the way to Key West. I'd like to explore this highway and view the magnificent sunsets and nature as well as some of the very quaint towns along the way. I think that there would just be a really cool vibe to this adventure. Question number six is, what is your favorite thing about RVing? And hands down for me, my favorite thing about being a weekend warrior and camping in our Little Guy Max is the adventures. And when I talk about adventures, I'm talking about the places I get to visit and see and being outside in nature. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Wow, what a sunset. And I just love being outside. I love hiking, I love campfires, I love kayaking, I just love exploring the outdoors. So these adventures are priceless to me and I have enjoyed absolutely every minute that I get when I get to be outdoors and I get to be doing my RV weekend camping adventures. Question number seven is what is your least favorite thing about RVing. My least favorite thing is having to plan ahead. Minnesota campgrounds in the summer are very popular. So in order to secure or get a campsite at a popular campground, I have to begin planning six months to 12 months in advance to make sure we're going to have a place to go for the weekend. We camp about 30 weeks out of a year or more. And one of the things that we've done is winter camping. And we really enjoy winter camping. The beauty of winter camping is I don't have to worry about making reservations. We usually have the campgrounds to ourselves. Question number eight is what is a must have on your next RV? And I had to think about this for a minute. Well, we are typically out camping two to four days at a time and we've never run out of water so the water tanks are certainly adequate as a luxury I would like to have larger water tanks question number nine is what is your favorite adult beverage that's an easy one for me I love Blue Thin Riesling. This is available at Trader Joe's for $4.95. Question number 10 is, what is your favorite indoor RV accessory? This one is really easy for me. It's the Feroli sleep system. If you can imagine prior to putting the Feroli sleep system in, our mattress was laying on this hard piece of wood but now it lays on a squishy spring-like system, giving the mattress extra support and just really making it more comfortable. Since we've installed it, we've just been sleeping better at night in our little guy, Max. And getting a good night's sleep is really important, even if it's just on the weekends. I paid full price for my Froley sleep system, but after I installed it, I did contact the company and they were generous enough to give me a 15% discount code that I can pass along to you. And I will leave all of this information in the video description below. The Little Guy Max has been a life changer for me. I am now a weekend warrior and I am loving every minute. To keep the momentum going, I want to challenge two other channels that like myself have Little Guy Max trailers. First of all, I would love to challenge Chris and Christy from Turner Max Adventures. Also, I want to challenge Daniel and Corey from Joyce Voyagers. This is your RV 10 question challenge, and I am challenging you right now. Next up, I think you're really going to enjoy a playlist I put together about the Little Guy Max trailer, and I will leave a link to that 
playlist in the description below this video. Also, coming up, you'll see it in the next screen. So click on the link there.